Welcome. Thank you for joining us today. We're continuing our look at the Gospel of Mark, and today we're in chapter 1, and we're picking up with verse 16. Passing alongside the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, the brother of Simon, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you become fishers of men. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. And going on a little farther, he saw James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, who were in their boat mending the nets. And immediately he called them, and they left their father, Zebedee, in the boat with the hired servants and followed him, followed Jesus. God bless this reading of his holy and precious word. What an important lesson. Jesus says to them, follow me. These are the greatest words we can hear him speak to us. Follow me. Just follow him. Follow Jesus. Follow Jesus to salvation. Jesus has made the way. He has died in your place and in my place that we might have life and have it abundantly. He has died that we might be reconciled or brought back to God the Father. Even though we all have sinned and fallen short, when we put our trust, our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, we're reconciled. We're made, we we go from death to life. We pass from lost to found, from blind to seeing spiritually. We're born again, born of the spirit, not of the flesh. And that life is eternal life. He says, I've written these things to you that you may know that in me, this is Jesus talking, you have eternal life. So in this wonderful passage that we're looking at, Jesus came to these disciples. These were fishermen. These were hardworking men. They were just common people like us. And they were working. And Jesus said, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. And and how did they respond? Did they get together and consult? Did they have a meeting? It says, no, no. Immediately, they they dropped their nets right where they stood, right where they lay, and they followed Jesus. This is true obedience. When Christ calls us, not just to salvation, but when he calls us to do a thing, and he's called us to do many things. Don't wonder what he's called you to. He's called us to love the Lord our God with all of our heart and soul and mind and love our neighbors as ourselves. Not just those that are easy to love, but especially those that are more difficult, especially those who would probably uh, hate us and, and we even wish us harm or even death. Love our neighbors as ourselves. So when he says, follow me, He's telling us to follow him and how we live our life. To come to Jesus, we have to come to the person of Christ, have a relationship by grace alone, a gift from God, for God so loved you, so loved the world, that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him would not perish but have everlasting life. So by grace, a gift of God, through faith, trust in the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ, we are born again. But as born again Christians, Jesus continues to say to us, follow me. Follow me in dying to yourself. Jesus said, I didn't come to do my will, but the will of my father who sent me. He he didn't do anything on his own. He did only what God wished, that we would follow him in obeying God. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. So we need to do that too. And and so he he called them and they followed him. They dropped their nets immediately. And then the, the other two, when he called them, they were in the in the boat with their father, Zebedee, and and the hired servants. And immediately they dropped what they were doing and they too followed Jesus. Jesus is calling you and me, like the old hymn says, softly and tenderly. Jesus is calling, calling for you and for me. See on the portals, he's waiting and watching, watching for you and for me. 
Let's hear his call right now. He's calling us into a deeper relationship with him where we have nothing between us and God. We're all in for Jesus. Amen. What a beautiful, beautiful message. Jesus says, follow me. Amen. Let us, let us follow him in all things.